In the previous episode, we set up the HUD. In this one, we will be setting up the stats. Let's get right into it and head over to your content drawer. Find your first person character. In here, add a new variable. We're going to call this one attack power. What you want is you want to do this for all the ones that you had in the previous episode added. So I'm just going to skip ahead. Once you got that, set it to a uh, compile and save and then set it to a default value. So I'm going to have like 17 attack power, 15 magic power, four defense and just five on all of these so they start equally then we want to head over to our equipment window and in the graph we're going to make a new custom event we're going to call this one update stats stats that we want to update comes from our widget uh, from our hud we don't have a reference to that so let's create a new one hud ref and set that to wbp hud inside your hud we have to go and actually set that so inside your hud in your interface and hud you want to set the equipment window HUD ref to ourselves. Click play. It's already up, so let's also fix that while we're here. Set it to hidden. Head back to your first person character in your event graph. And just out from HUD ref here, we're going to get the equipment window. And plug that into our visibility checkers, compile and save, hit play, and it's there. Let's back into our equipment window and mess with the new function. So the function, and uh, so this is going to just simply set the text of our, of our uh, slots here. So I'm going to get the first one. I'm going to do a set text out from it. Plug it in like that. Out from text, you want to format it. And this is agil agility, so I'm going to do agility curly brackets AGI for agility click enter and then I'm gonna from the hard ref get the inventory and then get the first person ref like so and then get the agility out from that I'm gonna put the agility under there and I'm gonna do the same thing for all of the inputs that we have so I'm just gonna skip ahead for that as well once that is done we are going to call this one out of the construct as well. And we also need to import some icons and stuff. So in the first, firstly, we're going to do a, a check for our HUD ref. So is the HUD ref valid? If it is valid, we're going into a sequence and we're going to fuck with that in a minute. If it's not valid, we're going to do a delay of 0.01. Plug it back in and let's loop that until it becomes valid. From the final one, we're going to call our update stats. From our first one, so 0 to 1, so number 1, we're going to get all widgets of class. And we're going to get our equipment. So top level only has to be checked off. We're going to get our equipment slot. Do 4 each loop on that. Have we set up hardref variable? Nope, we haven't. So let's head over to our equipment. Equipment slot, there we go, into the graph, and let's set up HUDREF over here. Let's keep this open, compile and save, because we're going to come back here in a minute. And for each of our, for each of the loop entries, we're going to set the HUDREF to our HUDREF. Now, what we want to do over on then zero, we want to set some default variables for our slots. So. What you want to do is you want to get your weapon slot and you want to get the icon from that. Out from weapon slot again, you want to set default icon. We haven't actually set that up either. So let's head back to our equipment slot. Inside our equipment slot, we got our hard ref now. We want to add a item, type master item. We want to add a default icon, uh, texture 2D. Inside of your equipment window, out from weapon slot, you want to set default icon. Plug that in, and then out from icon, you want to set uh, set brush to texture, set brush from texture. The texture is the outgoing one from our default icon. Now, we don't have anything set here, so I'm going to, inside equipment, I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call this one icon, and I'm going to import from another project. So you can do the same as well. Okay, so I've imported the icons that I'm going to be using. The weapon icon is going to be the weapon icon. Yeah, there we go. 
and it's going to set it to default. I'm going to do the exact same thing for all of our slots, so it's going to be three more times total. And the texture is the incoming one, and it is trinket icon, like so. So we start, we're going to check if the HUD ref is valid. If it's not, we're going to wait for it. When it becomes valid, we're going to head over and set our default textures and the icon accordingly. Then we're going to get our equipment slots that are inside of our equipment window. And we're going to set the HUD ref and then we're going to update stats. We're going to call this update slash function. We're going to set all the text to be equal to the current stats that the player has. So if I can pause save and hit play. Now we have our icon. Some, some icon is bugged and that is our shoulder icon. So let me head over to that and I haven't plugged it in. File and save. Press I. We got our stats showing. We got our icons showing. And in the next part, we're going to be adding our master items, I believe. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.